on my way back up to Altores, California, just north of Reno. Um, yeah, I don't really have anything. Uh, like I said uh, before, I got bumped, I got displaced, which is a good thing. So I was trying to get abolished on that job because I don't, me and the supervisor don't get along. So just out here on the road not very many people up here <clears throat> uh, for the whole I'm assuming the whole coronavirus deal that's going on um, the stay at home order so yeah but when I left this morning I got fuel and man there was all kinds of people and I don't know if they're people that should be out or if they were just out just because they're out but I think the problem is, is I don't want to say this or come off rude or negative but um, I think a lot of because I live in Southern California and we do have a lot of immigrants I guess illegal aliens and uh, they like to work which is no no big deal um, so the stimulus package and uh, nothing applies to them because um, yeah, they just they don't pay taxes and they don't they work under the table and people pay them under the table which the part of the stimulus package now is for businesses they have a forgiveness business loan thing that if you pay employees and prove that you pay employees um, you don't have to pay back the loan which is going to bite some businesses that hire people under the table um, which could be the whole plan but anyway um, I don't know if they were people working under the table that were out today but man there was a lot of people um, out this morning uh, there was about six cars at the gas station this morning and uh, yeah it looked it looked a lot, looked like a lot more people than it should have been. Uh, but they're probably saying the same thing about me, which is no big deal because uh, I have to work. I have to go to uh, whatever I'm required to work. Um, but anyway, yeah. So there's a lot of people. Just a lot of stuff going on out here. I just passed a street that said Convict Lake, two miles. I guess it's back in that valley. It's kind of cool little area. I wouldn't live here, but then they got an airport. Anyway, sorry, I have a ADHD. I can't focus on one thing at a time. If you guys watch my videos, you know that. If you haven't watched my videos subscribe but anyway um yeah there's just a lot more people out than i think should be out especially in this um this pandemic this problem this plague that's affecting the world right now um and if you're affected uh sorry i don't it sucks uh that people are getting affected kind of worries me you know because I have a wife and kid and uh, if I get affected or infected um, I can spread it to my wife and kid and I don't want to see nothing happen to them and likewise I don't want to see anything happen to anybody else um, but yeah so uh, yeah I don't I don't really know what I was getting at but anyway just need people to stay home don't go out unless you need supplies it's so like uh, my neighbor who is um, I don't want to say an illegal but he did tell me that he does get paid under the table um, he makes several trips to Home Depot to Lowe's to all these stores and all these places I see them every day 
leaving, coming back, leaving, coming back with material, um, building, I don't even know, playhouses, I don't know what he's building, I think he's building his own little amusement park, um, but anyway, he goes to all these stores, and he says that he's not working because of the virus, you know, we were doing the whole tool time, uh, I'm Tim the tool man, and he's, I think the neighbor's name is Anderson, Anyway, um, we're doing that whole talk, you know, here and there while I'm working outside, you know, doing some projects as you guys see on videos. Um, but anyway, and he tells me, talks to me about the stuff. But uh, yeah, so if you're one of those people that are going and getting supplies and running into town and getting this, getting this, I understand it's it's a good time with your home to get some chores done and get some stuff that you've been wanting to do done um, which is what I'd like to do uh, if I am quarantined or if they tell us that we can't work for the 14 days or if they send us home um, but I have plenty of supplies and projects that I already have the material so thankfully I already <laughs> I basically already planned ahead um, like I have a my kids bathroom where I've been trying to do a shower for the past eight years and I have all the material except for uh, some hardy board but uh, yeah basically we can do everything framing window uh, a lot of stuff um, but anyway yeah if you can stay home that's all I'm getting at uh, there's plenty of stuff you could do I think around the house invent something create something um, draw you know expand your mind play some board games some cards everybody's got phones and chargers and other stuff you know look into making your own app or something I don't know stay at home if you're not a necessity you know person that has to be at work um, I have to go to work because our rules and laws are from the 30s and 20s 20s and 30s and they're stupid and uh, yeah um, and Ronald Reagan signed some stuff you know 20 30 years ago whenever he was in office that says that we can't go on strike we can't do anything um, we have to work Unfortunately, uh, yeah, basically we can't go on strike. The, our union has to hire people to go on strike for us. That's just stupid, whatever. Anyway, um, but yeah, so we can't go home. Um, but if you have the option to stay home, stay home for you, for your family, for your other fellow human beings because this is a uh, it's going after everybody uh, it doesn't matter what race religion religion is not helping people um, it doesn't matter and it is it's going after different sexes so male and female and all the other ones that are out there uh, so anyway just do your part stay home Stay clean, stay sanitary, take showers, wash your hands, wash your face, don't be a you know, dirty pig, just clean up, so, because there's going to be, once this starts to fall, there's going to be a second wave, and that second wave could be worse because of all the medications and all the antibacterial and Germex stuff that everybody's using, so... And as you guys know, germ X and all that stuff doesn't kill germs or viruses 100%. There's that 0.01% or 0.001% that it doesn't kill it and it could make it stronger. So anyway, um, yeah, so just try to stay inside. That's all I got. I'm just driving. Driving through, I believe this is Yosemite. National Park right now I think I don't know 
driven through this area so much, I don't even know what it is. I just hope I don't encounter any snow or anything. So, because these are all the sequoia trees, maybe? Redwoods? I don't really know. We came out here one year, drove through that big tree that was out here that apparently is gone now. Um, but anyway. So, um, yeah, and also they're saying that, uh, just one last thing, to wear stuff over your face, because this is airborne, like I said in my last video, um, I don't think this stuff's transferred, like, I guess you could transfer it via saliva, um, but anyways, it's airborne, so they're saying that to wear a mask, wear masks, wear something over your face but they're saying not to use the medical ones because the medical ones are needed for doctors for the healthcare professionals that are treating all the people that need the treatment so um yeah so I think once I get up there and get with the guys I'll be wearing uh I have a respirator I use for when I was welding so I brought that with me and uh Maybe I'll be using that while I'm with the guys or if the guys are in the trucks or whatever, but uh, the guy I'm going to take a spot is a truck driver and nobody wants to be in the truck, so I'll be by myself in my own truck, which will be kind of cool. Um, so I don't have to deal with some nasty people. And I will be staying in a hotel. Hotel uh, up there because I guess, well, you guys all know the gyms are closed everything's closed and uh, so I can't take showers I can't stay clean so I'll be staying in a hotel um, online the hotel says $36 a night and uh, the guys up there said they're staying in that hotel and they're charging $50 a night so I took a screenshot of the price of the hotel and I'll go there and make sure I get the price of $36. If not, I'm gonna pay for 50 bucks and then I'll just tell them it's illegal to price gouge and they shouldn't be doing that. So, anyway. All right guys, that's gonna be it. Hitting 13 minute mark, gotta go. Subscribe if you haven't. Um, I guess YouTube's unsubscribing people. I got unsubscribed from like five or 10 different people um, I've gotten a couple messages from some people saying that YouTube's just unscribed them, unsubscribed people um, from my channel. And uh, yeah, so, so watch out for your subscriptions. That's why my subscribers go up and down and up and down. And it's like I'll be three less one day and then one up one day and then the next day three down. So... And plus, they're not really pushing any videos forward anywhere. So, but all right, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe, give me a like. Stay inside, you guys. You. All right, guys. Later.